what can I say about Shane? He is pretty much the reason I wake up every day and I just want to live life and it's such a gift, it's such a gift. When he went to his first checkup with the pediatrician, she touched his head and she told us, I think the skull is fused. I'm gonna refer you to the neurologist. And I was heartbroken. We first came to Dr. Hertzler's office and it was confirmed. He was born with a condition we call craniosynostosis. The bones of the skull had fused too early. And so it kept the skull from separating and growing how it should. So his head was fixed in a locked position. They explained to us that there are several options, but you think of your newborn and you count the fingers and the toes and everything seems fine and you're not ready for anybody to tell you that they need to have surgery. The procedure that we do is technically very complex to allow his brain to push his head to grow and to grow in a more normal shape and brain development. One of those team surgeries, both the operative staff, the anesthesiologist, and then Dr. Stelnicki and I will operate together to both release the sutures, uh, take the bone off the brain where it needs to be, and then reshaping the head to a more normal position. Think of it like bread in a bread box, that the bread's trying to expand, but the bread box is too small. And so as the brain is trying to grow and expand, if the bread box can't change with it, then the brain gets squished. Working together, we were able to unfuse that skull. The neurosurgeon there protecting the brain, making sure the pressure is gone. And then as the plastic surgeon, I go in and I, I recreate the bread box. We had to basically break the skull up into hundreds of pieces and put the puzzle back together and hold it together with little tiny screws that dissolve so that he could grow and develop normal. We met both doctors first before the procedure and they were so friendly and helpful. That mix of compassion and the scientific know-how. And when I experience that, I feel like, okay, I'm as confident as you can be. You're always gonna be afraid, but knowing both of them made me feel a lot more at ease. When he was four, he needed the second surgery. We were warned about that. Obviously the second time around, it's a little less terrifying. And then the last visit he had, they told us he doesn't need to come back anymore. He's completely cleared. That was wonderful. If they tell you your child has this, please, please, please go through the program. It's gonna be scary. You're gonna cry. Just trust the great minds behind us.